Should lawmakers have to pass an extra hurdle to possibly down the road impose a state income tax? That was one of the topics on the ballot today. Political reporter Jack Fink is joining us in studio with what people are saying about that and even more. Jack? Well, Doug, voters overwhelmingly passed Prop 4, with most of the counties now reporting. 77% voted for the constitutional amendment, 23% voted against it. It now requires a two thirds majority in each the Texas House and Texas Senate before lawmakers could call for a voter referendum on a state income tax. Right now, each chamber needs only a simple majority. Voters also approved by a large margin Prop 3, 86 to 14 percent. And this is very relevant to North Texas after last month's tornadoes. It allows the legislature to provide a temporary property tax exemption in an area declared a disaster by the governor. And one of the ten amendments, though, failed tonight. That's Prop 1. It would have allowed elected municipal judges to serve in more than one city or town at the same time. Only appointed municipal judges can do so. In Dallas, it looks like there will be a runoff for the State House District 100 seat. Lorraine Birabal, who's held a big lead all night, and Daniel Clayton are the top two vote getters so far. Either of them will succeed former State Representative Eric Johnson, who was elected Dallas mayor in June. And voters in the Arlington ISD voted overwhelmingly for Prop A, their nearly $1 billion bond for land acquisition and construction of school facilities. And Tarrant County voters are approving an $825 million bond package tonight for new construction and renovation of school buildings. Doug? Jack Fink, thank you for the rundown. Also passing tonight of note, something we've been watching here in recent days, constitutional amendment that is now going to allow canines, police canines, and other animals like them to live with their handlers in retirement. As we told you last week, up until now, it's kind of surprising, but many law enforcement animals were considered state property. So what would happen after retirement, they didn't go to their handler, they could only get auctioned off or face euthanasia. But that is now changing. We have full election results for every race in the DFW Metroplex. It's all on our website right now. Made it pretty easy to find. Just look for that big giant red bar. Get your attention right at the top of the page, cbsdfw.com.